Hey, what's going on YouTube Universe? It's another episode of Auction Life. We are at a pretty good sized consignment auction today. I don't really come to this one. This is like my first time here. And they still have a half hour and this place is packed. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to pick up today, but they do have a really good selection of primitives. There's a huge selection of tools. Um, they're actually going to run two auctioneers, so we'll see what we can get. Uh, keep those likes coming, keep those comments coming, questions, suggestions, all that fun stuff. All right, so let's go see what we can find. Is a project and a half right there. It's not rotted. Yeah. Frame's all there. Different. Seriously though, no boot is ever big enough. I know that one's too small. <laughs> Outside, I've got to see it. I lose that too many times. I'm going to 
took some video. Uh, I talked to the auction company. They are pretty cool about me taping them calling. So I might get a little more footage as we go along. There is a ton of stuff here. It is extremely hot. He's doing his terms and conditions now. So I am going to go get in there and get some stuff. And I will check back with you in a while. Enjoy. Um, I was gonna do my wrap up last night when I got home but my battery was dead on my camera and our power was out so it was dark battery dead no power so the power came on at like 1 30 in the morning so I charged up my battery and we'll do my little wrap up here of what I picked up yesterday I spent 11 bucks I bought two lots and let's see what we got I bought a cast iron lot that has this lodge pan in there pretty good nice piece this has the Dutch oven with the lid I don't believe that's a lodge I'll check I didn't look nope that's unmarked it's a newer piece but cast iron seems to be doing well right now so the other lot that I picked up was these two Pepsi crates it's got some kind of beer thing in there I'm gonna trash those um, it's got this little advertisement thing in there it says some kind of well-enforced beer I don't know but I picked it up for the crate Oh, wow, that was loud. You got your red Coke crate. And your yellow Coke crate. Graphics are nice. They look good. 
So they'll go into the booth probably Monday. This stuff over here came out of the booth. It's been in there for a week or two. The coat rack is broke. Somebody broke it. They were, I guess they were hanging on one of the spindles on top where you would actually hang stuff. It, it, it was broke off. It was sitting on the ground next to it. And I mean, it's not an old one, but still, it just kind of aggravated me. So, these suits came out. Print came out. I'm going to probably do these on... These will probably end up going more on Poshmark or eBay or something. They're kind of cool. This one I really like. It's kind of neat. It's kind of like a splatter pattern. But that's what we got at the auction. The guy was really cool about letting me film. Uh, he didn't mind me filming him actually calling bids. Which a lot of auctioneers don't want you to do. I don't know why. Uh, I'm going to link this video to their website you should check them out they do a lot of really cool auctions in the pennsylvania area they do on sites they do consignments they do uh like the next one they're having just like this one is a lot of tools i'm not a big tool guy but they have they had a lot of primitives so that's gonna be that's gonna do it for this video I want to thank everybody for subscribing. Keep hitting them likes. Leave me them comments, questions. We would do Q's question today, but Q's still in bed. We had a late night with no power. It's kind of tough to get the kids to go to sleep when there's nothing, you know, like power's out. So that being said, we're going to get to the stupid dad joke. And it kind of seems like I'm hurrying through this because I am, I'm, I'm still tired. It was a rough night as you can hear in the background it's the thunder's still a rumbling so it's coming again so my stupid dad joke for this video is this it is shark week actually so this kind of ties in a little bit why did the octopus beat the shark in a fight because he was well armed Thanks for watching, stick around for more videos, and have an awesome day.